You are likely familiar with the fairy tale of Cinderella, which features the most well-known Disney princess. Did you know that the original story of Cinderella has roots in ancient Egypt and Greece? In ancient Greece, there lived a young girl named Rhodopis. She was a woman of exceptional beauty, with emerald-like sparkling green eyes and hair as golden as wheat fields in the sun. Some even believed that her beauty was comparable to that of the goddess Aphrodite. However, the same beauty would also bring her a great deal of suffering. Rhodopis was abducted by a group of pirates called the Sea People, who were notorious for raiding seaside towns and capturing attractive young women to be sold as slaves. The pirates intended to take Rhodopis to the prosperous lands of the pharaohs, where they could sell her for a high price due to her great value as a lady. The young woman experienced a mix of fear and awe upon witnessing the opulence and affluence of the Egyptian residents. Despite all odds, the gods had not forsaken the young woman. Through a twist of fate, she was purchased by a Greek merchant who could not bear to witness such a stunning countrywoman being enslaved in a foreign land. Rhodopis moved in with the merchant's daughters and his Egyptian wife. However, they became envious of the young Greek girl who worked as a servant for the family due to her beauty. She enjoyed spending her leisure time singing on the banks of the Nile River, attracting a lot of local wildlife who would gather to listen to her melodious voice. Rhodopis was taking a break on the bank of the river when a hawk soared above her. Suddenly, it dove and grabbed one of Rhodopis's red sandals. A remarkable event occurred when a bird, identified as the deity Horus, flew into the pharaoh's palace. Horus was revered as the protector of Egypt and was not an ordinary hawk. The pharaoh received a female sandal from the claws of the falcon and understood it to be a message from the gods. The young ruler was unmarried and knew that Horus wanted the owner of the sandal to be his wife. The pharaoh and his men commenced a search throughout Egypt to find the woman who would become the future queen of Egypt. Upon the pharaoh's arrival at the Greek merchant's house, the merchant's daughters noticed Rhodopis' sandal in his possession and attempted to conceal the young woman. Rhodopis' fate led her to discover joy in the pharaoh's arms, who promptly fell in love with her, despite the objections of her sisters, who argued that he could not wed a slave girl. Rhodopis was the first queen of Greek descent to rule over Egypt. Following her reign, Many Greek queens of Macedonian origin also sat on the throne that Rhodopis once occupied.